All right, Nintendo, you got me. I gotta catch them all, so I gotta get a Switch. What up, guys, and welcome to the web search must see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, printed out myself. What's up, universe? And as you can see, I'm riding solo on this video, and we are here to talk about my personal favorite Nintendo franchise, and that is, of course, Pokemon. Because the Pokemon Nintendo Direct was just released as of recording this video, and oh my god, I'm excited. So, for a long time, I have been very hesitant about getting a Nintendo Switch. Because I'm like, eh, it's cool, and I like a lot of the titles, and a lot of my favorite games are getting ports to Switch. And it's super portable and I can take it everywhere. That's pretty cool. But there isn't anything that's really, really sold me on getting one. Yes, Smash Ultimate looks dope. But I could just as easily just play that at my cousin's house and have fun playing it with them. Because Smash Ultimate is definitely more of a game where it's a good party game where you can play with a bunch of friends or family and have fun and, you know talk trash but Nintendo you finally got me because I can't say no to a new generation of Pokemon that's how you've successfully gotten me to buy every iteration of a Nintendo handheld console that has been out since the Game Boy Color because little five-year-old me or maybe it was even four year old me Got hooked on Pokemon version red um, way back in the day when the initial Pokemon boom of the 90s first happened. And what can I say? I wanted to be the very best like no one ever was and I still do. So you know I am 100% in when they tell me that they are putting out a brand new main series Pokemon game on the Nintendo Switch. We're not talking Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, which is just a big main console extension of Pokemon Go. We are talking full-fledged new region, new Pokemon, crisp HD Switch graphics, cooler looking trainer sprites. I am in. 100% like I said and from what we see of the Galar region it looks like this time they're basing it more off of Britain I know like Kalos was based off of France and they had the Unova region based off of New York they had of course Johto and Kanto based off of different regions of Japan I'm interested to see what this region has to offer I'm interested to see all the new Pokemon all the returning Pokemon uh, the new mechanics, uh, what they can do now. I wonder if it's going to be as easy as like Sun and Moon was. I hope it's not as cutscene heavy because Sun and Moon had way too many cutscenes for my taste and none of the cutscenes you could skip. So it really annoyed me there. Um, but what really brought my attention forward with this Nintendo Direct definitely had to be our three starters that we got to see. So, our three starters is the grass Pokemon, Grookey, which is going to be my personal pick for my initial playthrough of the game as my starter. Because, uh, whenever you put a monkey starter, th those are usually, like, my go-to goat Pokemon. Because Infernape is awesome. Uh, love Infernape. Uh, Chimchar... Uh, that entire line was awesome. So you give me a grass monkey and usually when you play as the grass Pokemon like the gyms are a little easier so Definitely gives me more incentive to go for the grass starter this time uh, for the first playthrough uh, Then we've got score bunny who is our fire starter and it's a rabbit. So that's cool finally something other than Paneri and we get you know, it's something besides a normal type, but that's really cool. I'm excited to see that. And we've got Sabo, which is this, like, timid-looking little uh, shy lizard Pokemon, which I'm assuming by its final evolution, because it's, like, the most, uh, the least imposing 
of our uh, baby starters, I have a feeling that by the time we get to the final evolution, Sobble is going to be like a giant water lizard kaiju. Because that's how Pokemon usually works. And that's probably going to be pretty badass. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'll probably end up collecting all three eventually through trading with friends and family. Because that's what I do. And I always just obsessively build several different teams. And just like wrecking kids. Uh, I don't know man. I'm 25. But I still love Pokemon. I love the competitive battle scene. It's so much fun. I love like it. Reading Pokemon, uh, battling, trading, all of the stuff that makes Pokemon great. And they just keep making awesome games with big improvements. Uh, I am so excited for Sword and Shield. I wonder what the big difference is. Maybe this is more night themed, which is why I think the Galar region is more themed after Britain. Uh, but I'm really excited for this. A new addition to the Pokemon franchise is awesome. Always welcome for me, especially when it comes to the mainline stuff. So, I really want to see where this goes. Uh, I cannot wait to see how this plays. And it's going to be late 2019. So, usually Pokemon games release around November, December. So, it's probably going to be around then. So, I will definitely be getting a Nintendo Switch for Christmas, if not for my birthday. Uh, I'm really excited for this game, you guys. Uh, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Uh... While I might not like the anime as much as I did originally, uh, I will always have a special place in my heart for the Pokemon games, and I will still play the Pokemon games, no matter how old I get, because they are so much fun. But let me know what you guys thought about the Nintendo Direct uh, for Pokemon in the comments down below. Are you going to cop yourself uh, a copy of Sword and Shield? If so, which copy are you going to get, Sword or Shield? Personally, I'm going to get Sword. Uh, and I'm going to go with Grookey as my starter. Who is your starter going to be? Let me know in the comments down below as always. Also, guys, remember we are having our big 1K giveaway for uh, Detective Comics issue number 1000. So if you want an entry into that, the best way to do that is to get somebody you know to subscribe to the channel. Um, like any of our videos, comment on any of our videos. And that is how you get a chance uh, entered to win not only a copy of Action Comics number 1000, but also a special Funko Pop of the Batman Who Laughs. So that's a bunch of awesome prizes. We want to thank you for helping us reach this milestone. Uh, so definitely participate in that giveaway. You guys have earned it. And uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels about Pokemon in the comments down below. Are you going to try and catch them all? Are you going to try to come at me uh, with a battle? Hit me up. Let's, let's see what you got. I ain't afraid. Bring it. I want all the smoke. But anyway, uh, let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below as always. And uh, hopefully next time, I'll see you in the universe. Peace.